Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, we'll be doing a part two of the series where I demonstrated to you guys how to SSH into the Raspberry Pi remotely from your local computer, such as your MacBook, Linux, or Windows, to remotely run commands on the Raspberry Pi via the SSH, the secure shell protocol, to execute things such as code and system level commands. What we'll be doing up is a quick follow up where we will be using the Visual Studio Code editor uh, remotely on top of that so we can SSH via Visual Studio Code and provide the useful functionality of the Visual Studio Code IDE to enhance the experience of SSHing into the Raspberry Pi. So it's very simple. And if you haven't already, please watch part one because it's essential before you jump into this video because it's the setup to enable SSH. And that's what we'll need in this tutorial to quickly enable SSH in Visual Studio Code and get coding locally on Visual Studio Code to uh, do some cool things and make our life a lot easier. So if you're done watching part one and you're watching this video, simply what you want to do is have Visual Studio Code on your computer. If you have under search of Visual Studio Code and it is free to install online, you can just install the free version. You do not need the enterprise version or the company version, which is much more expensive. And once you do, what you'll see on the bottom left of Visual Studio Code is this little blue thing as of the making of this video. It might change in the future if you watch this video, if you watch this video a year from now. But as of right now, we see this little blue thing on the bottom left. And that is essentially the SSH layer on Visual Studio Code that will allow us to SSH into the Raspberry Pi and code with an environment here in Visual Studio Code that is the file system of the Raspberry Pi. So we can just go ahead and click this and we can just click connect to host. Now, before we do that, you can also go and download the extension here. It's called remote SSH. And this is it, it's a very popular, it's probably the most popular SSH extension in Visual Studio Code. So I'm just gonna click this guy and we are just going to connect to host and we're just gonna add a new SSH host, okay? So we're just going to add SSH as we did in the first video. So let's just go to the terminal and get the SSH command that we have here. In this case, I'm not gonna mask it anymore because I realized in the first video, you don't have to mask that. It's not really that sensitive information. And we could just copy that command that we use in the terminal into Visual Studio Code with the extension and click enter. And we could just click the first one here. So we could just add it to this SSH config file and we can just do connect. So it is connecting to the remote host with Visual Studio Code, which is nice. And as you can see, it's asking for my password. So you just enter the password for your Raspberry Pi, which I entered right there. And we're almost done here. Just give it a brief moment. And once we have that, we should be able to write code on the Raspberry Pi with the Visual Studio Code IDE. So if we actually go here and we want to open a folder, this folder is actually the file system on your Raspberry Pi, which is pretty cool. So let's just go to the desktop and click OK. So we can see, we can see it's asking for my password again, which is fine, because I think I just, so just enter the password again there. And it's just going to load the files on the desktop. I barely use this Raspberry Pi yet. You can see I just have a test.py and we can quickly open things and edit things here. So I was doing some stuff with OpenCV. As you can see, we have the nice coloring of Visual Studio Code and of course the nice layout, the nice Explorer and other extensions we can use in Visual Studio Code just to enhance the coding experience for our Raspberry Pi remotely. So if you guys enjoy it, please consider subscribing to the channel and even better, consider donating to the channel with a super thanks if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this content to continue supporting this content. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and take it easy.